Okay, that sounds good. You <laughs> left your channel. Okay. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm so hyped for this. It's gonna be great. We got some really good racers coming here. Anti currently number one on SRL. Uh, hold on, actually, I gotta gotta pay attention to when these guys start so I can start the time accordingly. <laughs> Uh, Anti currently number one on SRL, very talented racer, very good. He has he's doing sub twenty two streaks on his channel when he's streaming, and he has a sub twenty two streak of thirty three. Uh, hyphenated has been a long time number one User on SRL. Your channel. No, hold on. Oh, and and they're going nice. Uh, hyphenated has been number one for a long time in Wrath of the Lamb, and he's up there too on SRL. I think he's ranked four or something right now. Uh, same for BG and Haunted Quest, they are up there, especially Haunted Quest uh, earlier came out of nowhere. Uh, he started racing like about one or two weeks ago and, and he just took SRL by storm. Like he's getting, he's putting up very consistent times, very good times, very consistently. And uh, BG, BG has been racing a lot of Wrath of the Lamp as well, races a lot of Rebirth, puts up very good times as well. These guys are just, are just going at it, they, they are the best of the best currently crazy uh, are you guys still here like am I alone <laughs> yeah sorry about that problem I'm trying to adjust some of my settings okay okay and, uh, that's fine uh, and team speak because it seemed like it was picking up some okay. some background noise when I was just having it uh, as voice activation so okay. I was just trying to adjust that Okay, anti, anti, and hi and hyphenated here, both with the very quick start. Anti picks up 2020, which I know is actually one of his favorite items, uh, from what I, uh, from what he sold me. Uh, I hyphenated with the magic mushroom, which is an all stats up, but especially uh, good because it gives you a 1.5 times damage multiplier on top of what it gives you. Um, so that's also a very very solid find. That multiplier is just gonna gonna affect his damage throughout the entire run. It's gonna multiply every single damage up he picks up. It's gonna make knife and brim stronger, apicac, whatever he may find or may not find. It's just a really really good, strong and really solid item. Uh, Haunted yeah, quest. There's a bit very big. What? Go ahead. Yeah, a very big up of a magic mushroom is also that you don't have to rely on rebasement to deal that much because it also allows for some really nice tier builds and you can clear the caves pretty yeah, decently fast with it too even true, true. when you're not getting your charge changer you're actually aiming for thank you dan sure. sydney for actually i gotta read this out for ten dollars his message is put oh. it in the price pool thanks for keeping <laughs> keeping us company okay that's that's ten dollars that that's go amazing go straight to yeah, thanks dan thank you so much for the donation that is incredibly generous man um, we will do that. Uh, what are our prizes for today, Floor? If you want to go over that, because Floor is actually the one who sponsored the prize money, which is not a lot, but it's it's cool that you did it. Yeah, so if you want to go over they're it, actually pri they're actually actually they're actually prizes. So we um, have a 50 euro Steam coupon for the racer who finishes first, who wins the grand final, and also a 20 euro Steam coupon for the second. So just a little motivation to keep this like a serious tournament. It's a little. It's a of course, f um, it's about the fun, but there is some money on the line. It's not much, but we want to keep make it as interesting as possible. So yeah, 50 euro for the first, second, some amazing games on Steam. That would be really nice. Yeah, like that's really nice for you. I like what's going on in chat here. People are going Team Haunted, Team Anti. Cast your votes, guys. I want to know who you're rooting for. This is really great. Yeah, I like too. what's going on here. Haunted with the reset. I didn't really know see what was going on there, but it seemed like he started on a damage up and a parasite. And I don't know really what happened, if his devil deal was bad, or if he uh, if he just got hit for radar damage, but something caused him to reset. And BG is still looking yeah, for a start. Yeah, BG is still looking. That's always rough when you're like four minutes in and you can't find something yet. Uh, Haunted got Krampus actually. I can't see that because mm -hmm. I'm terribly behind, but that's not even the worst in this case. Haunted just got... Uh, Holy shit! Thank you, Tammy, thank you, for, thank you, Tammy for $99. I got $99 wow. and now they are gone wow. into the pot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got to keep I got to keep track of how much prize money we have here. Holy shit, that is amazing. That's $99. Oh, thank, you so much. thank you so much. That's crazy. Yeah. It looks like Hyphen has a solid lead taking that early magic mush. I mean, I, okay. I put it on to haunt it to start catching up with that Judas Shadow with the two times damage. Hey, uh, how do we distribute this, this oh, money amongst nice. these guys? Like 
I, I hate to discuss that <laughs> with you guys in the middle of the race, but we should think about if we distribute this amongst all four of them, or... Like, what do we do yeah, with I this? Would, I would say we, dis we distribute it all to all four of them, because all four races you put on a very uh, great uh, tournament at, um, at that point, so I think it would be the best solution. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm for so putting it for the, also... top, for the top two, <laughs> so there's a little more incentive to, to go better or faster here. I don't know. It's, it's hard to decide for me because it feels kind of unfair. Like, you know, these two came here, they thought uh, they'd be competing for first and second. Like, if we suddenly go, mm -hmm. okay, third and, third and fourth, get something as well. I don't know about it. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true, actually. Yeah, but BG, the BG, it looks like he just got the knife immediately. BG got a knife, oh, on B1. Yeah. yeah, the B1, the basement one knife is so yeah. good. Really strong, even though he had to wait for it for four minutes, but knife, of course, had incredible catch-up potential, especially since, since hyphenated and entire still on tears. And um, mm -hmm. haunted here with the magic mush Judas shadow. Oh my god. And goodness. that is insane he's, damage right off the bat, of course. That is so he's, good. He's stacked with multipliers, mm -hmm. like... Okay. Every and damage I will kick in really hard in this build. Oh my goodness. Oh my. It just it just doesn't stop. No, oh yeah, now with the quad shot. Oh my god, that is insane. Oh my goodness. That's some yeah, insane damage that an uh, that that uh haunted is pulling out of his For sure. Oh my and god. The quad shot and the Judas and the magic and now it's look like all these multipliers. Oh, I just waited for the for the mapping piece now in the shop, but he gets the, the starter deck and <laughs> I know I know he loves the starter deck and I love it as well. I mean cards are just so powerful and being able to get more and even carry one more is just incredibly helpful. Yeah, it's so good. Especially I like it for the red chest that when they drop pills you just get two cards instead. Yeah. I even gets a Judas Shadow of his own now in the Devil deal, and he's gonna kill himself. And I wonder how he does it, because the way I would do it here is uh, get myself down to one heart on the Devil deal, walk out and bomb myself, so I get back into the Devil deal and can pick up the two hearts. And that's exactly what he does. So that's yeah, really that's smart, super smart because he can pick up the two hearts now. And he gets the well, halo. And he left. He left a halo well, outside as well. Anti hasn't been uh, able to lock in his still deals to that point. Yep. So oh he's still God. running on angel rooms because he got a worthless one on the, in his last floor. So that yeah. could be interesting because he has not been able to stack his twenty twenty with some damage at this, yeah, that's true. this point. And haunted now with a uh, with a blood clot as well. And look at the size of those tears, and, dude! Like this is and Abaddon from the deal. He got yeah. Abaddon. He got Abaddon. Okay. Look at the size of those tears, man. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my goodness. The only problem right now is the is the slow uh, tear rate of the quad shot. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, it's like it's like it's not going to be a big deal because each shot is doing so much damage. Yeah, but that damage is going to pale later on. I don't want to say it's going to pale, but like the missing tear rate is going to become very apparent in later stages yeah, of the for race. Sure. Man, we have ourselves a race here. I mean, Hyphenate is in really good shape. Anti got a lead over the other two, but he he has a really weak build, so it's very possible for Haunted and BG, of course, to catch up. Yeah, especially sure. since Anti is, of course, looking for a shot to enter his 2020 world to help him once he got, actually, the items he wants to uh, put on a uh, good speed in this race, oh, because wow. this 2020 is all... Is Anti just happened? tried. Anti just tried to guardian angel the angel and got pushed into the holy water, and that was totally not an intentional fake up, <laughs> because he's he's uh, he's of course trying to farm for a really good item here, and the holy water is not a really good item, and he's stuck on a dead dove now in a holy water. Mm. Holy water, it's so bad. And Haunted picked up dark matter now as well for for more damage. <laughs> he's just sacking off the damage, dude. He's getting damage after damage after damage up. Bombs I mean, the mushrooms. If he gets the cures up now, that would almost uh, almost double his uh, damage output. I feel so mm. he doesn't even need a shot changer at this point. Maybe piercing would be so amazing with this. Yeah, piercing yeah. would be really amazing. Or sights or three dollar bill. Well, wow. he just bombed the mushrooms. I was wondering what you what you thought about that actually, because um, I'm not a huge fan of of doing that anymore. I personally I, I stopped doing it for a while now i'm kind of moving back to it he has the starter deck so every potential build mm -hmm. that the mushrooms are going to drop will be will be cards instead 
So that's oh, a huge plus. That's a really plus. good point. That's a huge plus I that find. That is a and huge, of course, huge plus. Of course, we're going for that Liberty Cap. Now he finds a blue cap, and that is perfect for him because we were just talking about how he needs tier eight, and uh, <laughs> yeah. the blue cap is just perfect in this situation because it gives him a red heart, makes devil dealing easier because he won't have to deal for soul hearts, and he gives him tier eight on top of it. Yeah, it's a large tier up too, just the same as like a coat hanger. But meanwhile, it feels like Hyphen is just zooming ahead of everybody. Yeah, Hyphenate is running away. He's got that map, he's got really solid damage, and of course Hyphenate is a really seasoned racer. He just knows how to how to go fast with what he has. He doesn't need any more, he doesn't need to look for for much more damage or a knife or a, or a brimstone. He's good to go. For sure. Yeah, that's what he always does. Like once Hyphenate got his build, he's just going so insanely fast. He won't uh, yeah, he's just running. save so much time. Yeah. He knows exactly the point where he can go to the end of the game, and uh, exactly. that knowledge is just so helpful. Anti now with the compass. Uh, BG has a compass as well with his knife. Uh, and we were wow. talking about how rare how rare mapping is in this game, actually. And we have Hyphen with a map, and then we have two compasses as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, when it rains, it pours sometimes. It's also, I think, a question of a player's philosophy, uh, philosophy whether they like the shop pool or uh, not. I mean, you pro I know you problems are a big fan of the shop pool, but I heard other players who say backtracking for the shop is generally not worth it. The I items are good, but not that yeah, good, I that you spend pool. so much time on that. Someone is asking in chat why Hyphenated didn't per throw the Devil Deal earlier, uh, and he was running on five black hearts, so I assume that was the reason. Like, he just figured taking a Devil Deal for three soul, uh, soul hearts wasn't really worth it, putting him down to, two, to basically one free hit he had. Uh, so he decided to per throw, to use his per throw rune on the boss room, and he got Jesus Juice from it. That's yeah, actually an that interesting really choice, choice as well, because of course, like, the, the main bulk of the damage ops is in the Devil Pool, but are you willing to risk that, like putting yourself down to one hit um, with this build yeah, just for a plus one damage? That's what it seemed like to me, because he had the option for Penta too for a plus one damage to lose three, yeah, exactly. three soul hearts. And I'm actually a big fan of re-rolling the boss item pools. Like, there is a lot of solid stuff in there. Yeah, there's a lot uh, of like, damage, a lot of tier rate in the... In the yeah, like tier rate is at the most you're going to find in the, in the boss pool. I mean, there's some terrible items too, like range up and <laughs> red health. Okay, Fleur seems to be off to the to the racers racers room because Hyphenator just entered the the cathedral, and of course you could expect him to finish every single every minute. Okay, so he's gonna be working as judge yeah. then. We are on a delay here, remember? So we're about 30 minutes, be uh, 30 seconds behind these guys. So Hyphenator might find an Emperor card any moment, and you never know, might be done any second. It so. just could be over. Yeah. Right. And again, despite delay, I, I assume we don't need a referee to see that Hyphen won, but I mean, Anti, Anti and uh, Haunted as well as BG could go either way here. Right, and they're all they're on the depths. Yeah. Anti is still with his, with his really weak build. If he doesn't make anything soon, I mean, these guys are just going to overtake him. Um, yeah, and Hi um, Haunted Quest has caught up to him now. He has a full card, goes to the boss rush, of course, for that classic boss rush skip if he wants to. Yeah. Decides not to, though. W wasn't really the best boss rush, to be fair. And BG hmm. with the growth hormones from the Demon Judgey, which is pretty much the best find you can get from him. Yo, that is the best from the Demon Judgey. I'm a huge fan of Demon Judgey. I just give him all the hearts. Really? Yeah, like, he has all of the... The, um, the syringes, yeah. Like, the steroids and, like, all those... Uh, yeah, that's true. Like, uh, um, you can get, like, a lot of speed up from him. It's, like, w it's way better than the regular Judgey pool. Oh, an anti with the habit and the the holy mantle from the angel room. He's just not finding any of the of the super good stuff. I didn't have a teleport for the boss rush. So I guess he was looking for like un undefined or something like that. Yeah, anti is is on the same page with me on that one. He's always looking for the un always check the boss rush for the undefined. It's just such a such an insanely good late game item. And meanwhile, it ends up saving saving yeah. minutes on that one. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, Hyphenated entered his chest, of course, and he should be done any moment, really. He has that map, he knows exactly where he has to go. And, and he's just gone. The others are still on Womb 1. Even though Haunted Quest yeah, really is making good time here. I'm really surprised at how fast Anti oh, wow. is going, actually, because it, it didn't feel like his build was that yeah. that, that impressive, but he's making good work of it. Anti. I guess it's the power of the map. He's just Anti. Yeah, and he's got the compass. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, the compass. I was thinking about uh, and hyphenated too, man. He's just going so fast. Yeah, it's hyphenated Lord of the Flies. He totally is Lord of the Flies. <laughs> An anti really relying on his angel room, womb one. Like, what do you do as anti? You just pray. Yeah, you hope for the best. And look at what it's he's like on quad shot. look at what he's keeping up with. Like, granted, BG and and haunted quest started at four minutes, and anti already had kind of a head start. But he's still keeping up with that knife and that quad shot, magic mush, uh, Judas shadow build. Okay, hyphenated about to be finished here. Um, he's just face tanking. Wow, very baby. good time. And he finishes at 15.03. That's a really good time. A oh, very, very good time, actually. Yeah. And uh, I guess this would be a good moment to go over like the, the point system if you want to. Sure, I would be happy to do that. So first place, you get three points. So we're using a point system to determine who advances. Uh, player with the most points moves on, or the top two. So first place gets three points. Second place would get two. And third place would get one. And last place gets nothing. So right now, Hyphen will be sitting at three points, so we're waiting to see who is actually going to come in second to get those two points. And we do have tiebreakers where people end up uh, tying. We're going to use uh, fastest in, uh, game or fastest race time. I'm actually surprised how close this is for second place. Like, I figured BG would, like, run away with it with the knife. Yeah, so how are we going to go about this money? Because I really want to jump down there uh, after this race and tell them that we actually that we got the prize pool up. Um... So how are we gonna, gonna distribute um, this money among, uh, um... Well, it depends on if, if you want to go to the top four or the top two. I guess we're gonna keep it top two. And, uh, okay. We have $109 I, to, uh... Oh. Uh, I would, I prefer for this game to be pretty close to even, considering, uh, how swingy some of the times could be. Um, so maybe something like 60-40 split, percent-wise. 60-40 split? So that yeah. would be like, I don't know, 65 to, I'm going to mess this up, 65 to 45? Yeah, it seems good. 65, 65 to 44 then, because we have 109. Yeah, we don't have the, don't have the change. <laughs> Okay, BG to the chest, and Anti is on his Isaac fight, while uh, Flo um, not Floor, Haunted Quest is as well. Now the thing is, yeah. what do you do as Anti? You kind of just hope BG dies. I mean, if you look at the at the at the situation, um, BG is on low health. You you can hope the guy dies. Haunted Haunted is not gonna die. It's you really just yeah, that's true. Haunted is not gonna die. I agree with that. But he does have the nine lives. Uh, BG does. So that's true, and from it, what I've seen, he has the wafer too because he just got hit and took half hard of damage. Oh, that's super handy for the nine lives to be able to take two hits per, because like that can you can get really trolled sometimes. Like if you get like a double cage room with nine lives, and you just keep getting uh, wow. RNG stomped. And haunted now with the with the number one, which is exactly what he needed because we were talking about how uh, the the quad shot needs to tier rate, and number one is pretty much perfect for that now. BG yeah, exactly. meanwhile found his boss. What did he do? Like he must have teleported did there teleport? somehow, and he finishes at at 1831 in second wow. place. Wow. It looks like he teleported right to the boss. Maybe just he found uh, probably an emperor card from Sloth. Yeah, definitely emperor card. Smashy, with as magic emperor card. So so good. Oh, he yeah, as magic emperor. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of Haunted Quest yesterday. I don't know if you remember, but he uh, was like neck and neck with someone else. I don't know who he was. Yeah. He was racing against... Agnos. I think that it was, was against Agnos, yes. And he f got got an Emperor card from a sloth. 
And yes, and it, <laughs> he won by like three seconds. Yeah, he won by three ridiculous. seconds because of that random Emperor card drop. And that's it, Haunted Quest finish. Oh my god. Haunted finished third. And GG just gave us another $11 for the prize pool. So we're at 120 Wow, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, Haunted Quest finished at 1919 19, uh, as our third place finisher. So we get... What do we got? Anti-Lost. Anti-Lost? Holy. Yeah, Anti got fourth, yeah. yeah. So Anti gets no points, Hyphenated gets three. Oops. Oh, so Mega Man fan, we, uh, User we have no channel. item bans for this tournament. Uh, everybody's ready to go on immediately. For uh, the hold on, race. actually. Hold on. Okay. So update the scoreboards. Yes. Did you tell them about the extended prize pool? Because Red and I, meanwhile, came uh, up with, with how we're going to go about it. Um, not yet. So if you could tell them real quick, like, or 